Hey, this is Ciderhelm, and welcome to the Vainglory Hero Spotlight. Today we're looking at Gwen, a gunslinger who always turns the tables in her favor. Gwen is among the fastest heroes in Vainglory, able to move swiftly through the Halcyon Fold and quickly break free from dangerous situations. She is best played in the lane where she can focus on earning gold to keep an edge over her opponents. Gwen's Boomstick perk substantially increases the damage of her basic attacks when she waits a moment between each attack. Gwen's Buckshot Bonanza blasts enemies in the target direction. Enemies hit by this ability are slowed and briefly revealed. I recommend learning this ability second, but upgrading it first and taking the overdrive. When activated, Gwen's Skedaddle instantly removes stuns and other impairing effects, then briefly blocks further impairing effects from being applied. Additionally, she gains a brief burst of speed, allowing her to run to a better position. Upon learning Skedaddle, Gwen also gains a permanent movement speed bonus. This is disabled when taking damage from enemy heroes, but is otherwise always active as she moves through the fold. I recommend learning this ability first, upgrading it second, and taking the overdrive. Gwen's ultimate, Ace's High, throws an Ace card in the target direction, damaging enemies along its path. The card then stops on the first hero it hits, stunning them. I recommend learning and upgrading Gwen's ultimate whenever available, but skipping the final rank of the ability in favor of maxing out her Buckshot Bonanza and Skedaddle abilities. After stealing the enemy jungle camps, Gwen and her teammates move to stop the enemy team from stealing their own jungle camps. As soon as she spots her opponents, Gwen turns around, hoping to fall back to the neighboring brush before they can attack. Meanwhile, Kashka is waiting to flank from the other side, making it more difficult for their opponents to escape. The fight breaks out as Glaive afterburns in and Lyra drops her bulwark. Gwen strikes Ringo with her empowered attack for a strong opening burst of damage. Gwen is often most dangerous when she dances around the very edges of a fight, where she'll take less damage and can hold on to her skedaddle cleanse for longer. With her aces high in the air, again note how Gwen is staying at the perimeter of the fight. Even though the enemy Lyra is nearly dead and may flee to safety, Glaive is also about to be killed by the enemy Rhyme. By chaining her aces high with Kashka's ultimate, they've stunned Rhyme for long enough to burst him down before Glaive is finished off. With an overwhelming victory, Gwen will soon return to the lane to pick up some extra gold before taking out an enemy turret. As Gwen and her allies move towards the jungle shop, the enemy team immediately capitalizes on their absence by attacking their outer turret. Upon returning to lane, Krull rushes towards her, attacking and slowing her. Thanks to Lance's Impale and the cleanse from her skedaddle, Gwen breaks free from Krull's grasp and can now seek better positioning. However, both Baron and Glaive can engage on her from beyond her own attack range, leaving her no choice but to leave the turret undefended. As Krull continues to apply pressure, Gwen seizes an opening with her aces high. Although Krull often thrives on low health engagements, the brutal combination of the stun and damage from her ultimate and her perk attack finishes him off before he has any chance to react. The fight continues with Gwen dancing around the perimeter looking for any opportunities to quickly land her perk attack and buckshot. She knows she can't outdamage Baron and Glaive, who have a lead in both levels and items. However, with some quick shots and smart maneuvering, she's able to force the fight into a stalemate and prevent her opponents from taking more objectives. Thanks for watching the Gwen Hero Spotlight. Download Vainglory free on the Apple App Store, Google Play, and the Amazon App Store.